I'm going to give you two more examples of multiplying fractions. So the first one is going to be 5 eighths times 3 sevenths. And remember, when we added fractions, we needed the same denominator, but we don't for multiplying fractions because we have this thought of this um, box that is, we're making a box that's 8 by 7. That's where the 8 times 7 comes from. And we're having 5 times 3 of that box. So this is going to be 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 7 is 50. Six and there are no common factors, so that's our final answer. And then let's do this one: five over twenty-one times seven over ten. Um, again, it would be a box that was twenty-one by ten, so that would be two hundred and ten. Seven times five, sorry, five times seven is thirty-five. We get thirty-five over two hundred and ten. You should be able to notice that uh, both thirty-five and two hundred and ten are divisible by seven. Thirty-five is clearly divisible by 7, because 7 times 5 is 35. 210, you might recognize that 21 is divided by 7, so 210 is also going to be divided by 7, divisible by 7, sorry. So use my form of 1, right, that's always drawing it out. We get 5 and 210. 21 divided by 7 is 3, so 210 divided by 7 is 30. Okay, I can keep going. Um, with 5 over 7, let's see, I'm just going to uh, divide both sides, both the top and bottom, by 5 over 5. There's my form of 1, right? So I'm reducing like we did before, and we get, I'm going to go down here, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So <laughs> 5 over 21 times 7 over 10 is actually 1 sixth. And that's the final result for that. So that's our